here comes another brutally honest print on demand video. Are you ready? The Teespring Trust Score is basically a score which you can't see, I can't see. It's just a score in the ether that says how well your Teespring account is doing based on so many variables. For example, based on sales, based on if you are holding to policies, if you are uh, creating campaigns. There's just there's a lot of variables on how a Teespring Trust Score is calculated and in terms of what it is well it basically is just your account health in 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 the most simple form There's, it's not a confusing it's not a confusing idea okay now i'm seeing so many videos on the teespring trust score people saying how easy it is to get an amazing trust score people saying how it will make you tons of money if you have a good trust score like just money flying down if you have a good trust score and a lot of people are also saying how by having a good trust score it's going to enable you to get onto the teespring boosted network well firstly before i go further the teespring boosted network that's a new phrase that's a new term what is what does that mean Well, the Teespring Boosted Network is basically, Teespring has partnered with apparently seven other marketplaces like Etsy, Amazon, whatever they may be, right? They have partnered with these marketplaces and then through the Boosted Network, your designs that you make, right, can go onto all these other marketplaces completely for free without you having to do any extra work, literally no skin off your back, it's free money, more raining money, right? And apparently having a good trust score means you're going to get into this special boosted network, this money making machine. Now in this video, I wanted to be quite clear on this matter and give you a real unbiased take on it. Okay, so stay tuned because there's a lot more to, to speak about, but before we just delve into it even more. If you haven't already subscribed, I think it's something like 30% of viewers have, have subscribed. So that means 70% of you who are watching my videos haven't yet subscribed. And as you can see, you can see down below that I'm on like something like 9,100 subscribers or, or something like that. Come on, let's get me to 10,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button if you're into making money online, any of my previous videos, any of my future videos, if you just want to learn about Amazon, Teespring, Print On Demand, Fiverr, business, entrepreneurship, whatever it may be, this is the only YouTube channel that you really need. That wasn't a very nice thing to say. There are plenty of other good YouTube channels as well. So hit that subscribe button and let's just, let's just get straight back into this video. So now that we kind of know what these two terms are the trust score and the boosted network now that we kind of know what they are let's just go a bit deeper into into their meanings into how you can actually get access to them to get well free shirts and raining money and is it realistic i i don't know if the other people who are making videos on this are being brutally honest i, I don't know but all i know is that i'm i'm biased i have nothing to sell you with here with with here i have nothing to sell you here and i just want you to know the hard facts around this topic so that you go in with an open mind rather than go in thinking oh my gosh i'm going to be rich because i mean come on really so firstly let's start with the trust score you can't get a trust score if you don't have any designs on teespring and to second that you can't get a trust score if you have no sales so the trust score is given to you kind of anonymously because you can't see your trust score. You don't even know if you've got a good trust score or a bad trust score. You just, it's its all up in the air, literally up in the air. So the what they say is to get a trust score, you need sales and you need campaigns, right? So that's, that, that's a start. And you're probably thinking, oh, I'm going to make a campaign and I'm going to buy all the shirts myself. I'm going to get the best trust score. No, it doesn't work like that. You cannot buy your own shirt and build up your trust score. But what you could 
technically do is use a VPN because it's based on your IP address. And if the same IP address is buying lots of shirts, it's very obvious, right? But if you use a VPN and you buy a bunch of your shirts from all different areas around the world, then it looks a lot more legitimate and that could actually help your trust score. But don't risk it. It's not worth it. Just just get sales the normal in the normal way. Let's not try and cheat the system because cheating the system is only going to come and bite you back in the ass. So let's move on. The main thing for keeping a good trust score or once you get a trust score, again, you don't know when you're going to get it, but the good thing, the main thing about keeping a good one is to adhere to the Teespring policies, all of them. Like literally do not break any of them. When it comes to designing, adhere to the designing policies. Don't make rude and obnoxious and unpleasant designs because that is not liked by Teespring and they are not going to want to push those designs to other platforms because people don't want to see those designs. I mean, yes, they could be brilliant, they could be really funny and they could make a lot of money, granted, but if your sole purpose is to get a good trust score and land yourself in the boosted network and make lots of money that way, then stick to all of their policies and make t-shirts or make merch that uh, sticks to the designing policies. So the next big question is, is how is the trust score related to the boosted network? How are the two of them connected? Well, it said if you maintain a good trust score, you will land yourself in the boosted network, which basically means you'll be pushed out to all of these affiliate, uh, not affiliate, all these uh, marketplaces to get organic free sales, right? And apparently the better trust score you have, the more marketplaces you'll be pushed out to. So they say the hardest marketplace to be pushed out to is the Amazon marketplace, which makes sense because Amazon is flipping huge. Let me just zoom in a bit. All right, Amazon is absolutely huge. So that does make sense. Now, in order to get that marketplace, apparently you have got to have the highest of high trust scores, okay? Now, Again, we don't know how high our trust scores are, but in my mind, this all sounds a bit too good to be true, right? It's just like, oh, I'm gonna make a few designs, I'm gonna get a good trust score, and then I'm gonna land myself a bunch of organic sales. Come on, let's be realistic with each other right now, okay? When something is too good to be true, look into it, because it could actually be too good to be true. Well, let's be real for a couple of minutes here. Okay, well, I'm being real the entire time, but let's let's be real. Um, the boosted network, right, and, and, and getting into the boosted network and, and into all these marketplaces, even if you have sales and you all of that kind of stuff, it's incredibly hard. It's really, really hard, okay? Even if you have an incredible trust score, there is no guarantees at all that you're gonna end up in the boosted network, okay? It's really, really hard. And even if you do end up in this magical, utopia right in the, in, in the boosted network what, what just happened in the boosted network right there are no guarantees you're going to actually get any sales you could be all the way down the the list on the boosted network you could be like on page 400 for a design right you've got to get onto a high page in the boosted network as well so once you're there you're competing with tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands of other people so there's no guarantees that it's actually going to get you any sales okay so my point is the whole point of this video is don't rely on the trust score and the boosted network, okay? And I'm going to give you some alternatives, and I'm also going to kind of tell you, I want to be positive as well. I don't just want to be negative in this video, so I want to give a, a positive side, okay? And just a side note, because obviously this is an important part, you want to enable, you want to tick the box that says, put me on the boosted network, like... you'll see it'll pop up, right? And the reason you wanna do this is just on the off chance that you actually get selected and you're actually in there, you may as well tick that box because you never know it could get you sales. There is no guarantees that it couldn't, there's no guarantees that it could, you never know, right? And there's no reason why you wouldn't tick that box because there's no harm in doing so. So here's the most annoying part, and I've said this a few times during this video already, you cannot see your trust score, right? Super annoying. However, what they do say is, a good indication as to whether or not you have a decent trust score is how fast your payouts happen, okay? So typically, and this is on their website, typically payouts happen within one to seven days, okay? And a good indication is if your payouts are fast. Does that mean your payouts are, are happen in one day? Does that mean you've got a good trust score? Well, I took my account and checked out my payouts and for the last couple of months, my payouts happen almost instantaneously. And I mean 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. When I click pay, payout, the money is there in my PayPal account. So what does that mean? Does that mean I have an incredible top of the line 
Bugatti trust score? I don't know because I can't see it. <laughs> and does it mean because I have this incredible payout time and I have a great trust score, I have a great trust score, I don't know, but let's say I do, does it mean I sh I'm in the boosted network? Because if I am, where where's all my money? Like, why am I not just, you know, printing money? What's going on? How can this be, right? Well, the truth of the matter is, just because you have a fast payout, just because you have a good trust score, and even if you are in the boosted network, like I've said a thousand times now, does not guarantee you any sales, okay? So don't rely on it. So, like, what's my point? Because I've said a lot of things. Well, my, my main point is, don't rely on someone else to make you sales, okay? You should make your own money, okay? Don't rely on Teespring. Don't make a T-shirt and rely on Teespring to get you your sales because it could really slap you around the face and be terrible for you. So you want to be your own, like, you know, income stream. You want to figure it out and make your own money, not rely on anyone else. So let's discuss some solutions because I didn't want this video just to be negative, 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 right? And by the way, this video isn't negative to Teespring in any shape or form. I absolutely love Teespring and it is my choice of uh, platform, but like I said, I'm gonna be real with you, whether or not I like something or I don't like something, I don't make these videos to sugarcoat it and try and get you into print on demand. I make these videos so you understand everything about print on demand and you can decide whether or not it's right for you. Okay, so let's talk about the solution. Well, firstly, you've got to get your account started, right? You've got to make some designs and you've got to get some sales, all right? Now, try and get a good trust score, try and get in the boosted network. There is no harm to it. So you may as well stick to the policies. You may as well, you know, create the designs because you never know what can happen, right? You, you might you might win the lottery, you never know, okay? So you may as well try. So that's the start. Start by starting your Teespring account and actually making some designs, putting them up there and then trying to get some sales. In terms of getting sales, you want to drive traffic. You want to drive lots of traffic. You want to drive paid traffic and you want to drive free traffic. If you have no money and you just want to drive free traffic, then brilliant. If you don't want to drive free traffic and you just want to drive paid traffic, then brilliant. Okay, whichever one you want to do. So paid traffic can come from Facebook ads, Instagram influencers, and literally so many different places. And before I get tons of comments saying, well, teach us how to do the, the ads, teach us the Facebook, teach us the Instagram. Ah. Don't worry, it's coming. I have my Instagram influencer video coming out in the next couple of days. I'm literally just waiting on them to respond. They are taking blooming ages. And in terms of the Facebook ads video, I will be making that as soon as I hit 10,000 subscribers. And that's just gonna be a ridiculous video. So don't worry, those videos are coming. Now, the other way to get sales is to do it organically with Instagram. Uh, Instagram posting, Pinterest posting, YouTube posting, Facebook posting. And to be honest, I hadn't planned on making a more in-depth video on the free ways to get traffic, like a really in-depth video. If you wanna see something like that, then leave a comment down below. Um, but the reason I wasn't gonna make a video on that is because I mainly focus on the paid ways of getting sales, just because it's faster, you make more money, and um, it makes more sense. And in order, and, and by paying for traffic, you are in turn growing your organic reach because you're let's say you you pay for traffic on instagram you're going to get followers by doing that so you're growing your following and that from there you will be able to get organic free sales like it happens hand in hand okay does that make sense so if you do want me to make that let me know in the comments down below once you start getting sales Hopefully your trust score will start going up. Hopefully, hopefully you end up on the boosted network and you know, you get some sales, but don't rely on it. Treat it as a bonus, okay? So if you land on the boosted network and you start seeing sales, and by the way, you can differentiate your sales at uh, different sales sources. So when you start getting sales for your shirt, you can actually see which ones came from the boosted network, which ones came from your Facebook ads, or your YouTube ads, whatever they may be. So. If you are on the Boosted Network and you're getting sales from it, you'll be able to see that, okay? So if that does happen, treat it as a lovely bonus and uh, just count your blessings, right? So you can always try and get there, but don't rely on it. Still rely on figuring out traffic on your own. Well, with help of others, but doing the traffic on your own. Don't 
just go into this business with the sole intention of landing on the boosted network and becoming a billionaire because that ain't gonna happen. And to end this video on a nice high, if you don't end up on the boosted network, who cares? Because you would have been getting sales from your own sources of traffic. You would have been running your own business with your Facebook ads and your Instagram ads and your influencer stuff and all of that kind of stuff. So who cares if you don't end up on the boosted network because you will be getting sales with your own methods, right? That is the end of this video. Like I said at the beginning, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And I know this was a bit of a harsh video trying to tell you the truth, but that's what I love doing. And for that reason, I think you should click the like button because that's just another harsh truth I'm gonna tell you. Clicking the like button helps my videos in the algorithm and actually helps me get more views, which helps me get more subscribers, which helps me make more videos. So hit that like button and yeah, I will see you in the next video where hopefully, hopefully, if these flipping annoying Instagrammers will just respond in time, I will post the influencer video where I have paid, I think I've paid something like $50 now and they're boosting posts and adding them to their stories and we're going to see how they do. So hopefully that should be the next video.